everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb ahead of AirVenture 2016. You know, we've reported on the Bose A20 headset before, but we've never really covered the details of how the Bluetooth works. So uh, in this brief video, we'll take a look at uh, the details of how the Bluetooth interfaces with Bluetooth devices like a smartphone, uh, like the, my iPhone 6 that I use for making phone calls on the ground and also for uh, listening to music in flight. Now you probably know all about the noise cancellation technology. The A20 has the latest iteration of that. It also has a redesigned frame and ear cup design to improve comfort. This is the Bluetooth version that allows you to pair it with up to eight different uh, Bluetooth devices. As I mentioned, that's mostly going to be smartphones, but it can go with GPS uh, devices, traffic devices, all sorts of things that uh, use Bluetooth. Speaking of that, the A20 has both Bluetooth and a hardwire option for auxiliary audio through this 3.5 millimeter jack on the bottom of the control unit. Bose provides a cable for this, but I suspect most people will use the Bluetooth option. And by the way, the A20 is equipped with uh, two kinds of jacks, uh, a limo jack and the conventional audio jack. And the Saratoga we're flying, we have both, so the lower one uh, plugs into the audio system. And the top one is also tied into the audio system, but it will also power the headset. And when you plug it in, it comes on automatically. Like most Bluetooth devices, the pairing is relatively simple. In fact, the first time you turn on the A20, it will automatically go into pairing mode and pair up with whatever device happens to be in discoverable range. And in the case of the headset, when it is paired up, you'll hear a beep to confirm that. You may have to go into the device's menu uh, to make sure that it is paired correctly. This switch on the control box is called the secondary audio mode selector and it has three positions. The bottom one mutes the external audio entirely. The middle one, called mix, mixes either the radio or the intercom with the external audio. The top one is the mute position and it will cause the external audio to ramp down when there's a radio or intercom signal, then ramp back up when it's quiet. For most of the flying I do, I tend to use the mute, which allows the music to ramp down when a radio call comes in. And if, you, if it gets really busy, you can turn the uh, external audio off entirely. I generally uh, do that when it's very busy, because otherwise you get fragments of, of audio or music between radio calls, and it's kind of annoying. So when it's really busy, you can, you can just turn it to the off position. To control multiple audio sources, you simply toggle one off and one on. There's no way to do that through the headset, although the headset, as I'll demonstrate, is pretty good at uh, controlling a smartphone remotely through the headset control box. And the Bluetooth circuit has its own dedicated volume switch on the side of the control box. The A20 offers limited control of a Bluetooth device, and for that I'll demonstrate it here with my iPhone on the ground. If you have an incoming call, you just press the Bluetooth button once to answer it. You'll hear a beep, and then the call will connect. Press the Bluetooth button again to disconnect the call. So let's hear what an incoming call sounds like. Okay, so you can hear the ringer, and to answer it, just press once. There's the beep. Hello, Leonard. Hey, Paul. How you doing? Hey, Paul. How you doing? Okay. So that's how it works. And to end the call, you just press the Bluetooth button once. You can call the last dial number by pressing the Bluetooth button twice in quick succession. And if your phone has voice dialing, you can use that by pressing the button once. I'm doing that through Siri on the iPhone. These functions will vary with the type of phone you're using. Now, before I finish up, along with the A20 demo Bose provided, they also sent along some other products in their noise canceling line. Bose has a presence in the military market with these two headsets. One is in, incorporated in a soft helmet and is intended for vehicle or aircraft use. And this one is a tactical headset. It's obviously a ruggedized version of the basic noise canceling design. If you're a football fan, you will have seen this. It's popularly worn by NFL coaches for sideline communication during games and practice. Branding is everything these days, and Bose gets a lot of mileage out of the prominent logos. Now, if you're going to AirVenture this year, you can get a look at all of these products and a demonstration of the A20 in Bose's booth. It's number 283. For AbWeb, I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting. Thanks for watching. 
And thanks to Sarasota Avionics for assisting in this video. Thank you.